Meg Yarnell 3 said, did you interact with the other girls much? So there was also a comment saying how there was a, a tweet years ago where like me and the girls didn't get along because my family didn't want to be associated with them. And let me just address that. When we signed up for the show, we didn't know the other families. We weren't even allowed to know because they didn't want us interacting with the other families. They didn't want us knowing that. So we didn't actually, I didn't meet the other girls until I went to LA to film all of the promo stuff for the commercials. That's kind of the only times we'd interact if we would do promos or if we did um, talk shows and, and that stuff. For season two, they got rid of one of the families and they brought two new ones on. There were certain things that happened in the other families and that the other girls did or said that people were like, how could you say that? We made it clear, hey, we're four separate families. We don't interact with one another. We don't know what the other people are filming or saying or doing. We are responsible for what our family does. If you have something that you didn't like about the other family, don't attack us because it's not like we set, you know, we encourage that. People took that as, wow, you just think you're better than them and all this stuff. That wasn't it at all. We got the most hate from the Christian community telling us that we are giving Christians a bad name. So yeah, that's that. Ray Ray 2113 said, do you think it accurately portrayed you and your family? I do and I don't. We were always very honest and very real on camera. I was 15 when we started the process, 16 when we filmed season one, 17 when we filmed season two. And behind the camera, I was going through so much and I didn't show any of that because I had been dubbed this little angel. You know, I was the good one. I felt like, I couldn't even open up about my struggles. And that was solely fear-based and I think that people, would like to think people would have received me well because I'm very much open and honest on my social media and people received that really well. We didn't fake anything, but I wish that I could have added in a little more honesty about where I was at off camera. Someone asked about, I don't know where the question is. So I was asked like, how often did we film? Were there cameras there 24 seven? I filmed about six days a week usually. Uh, I would film after school and usually every weekend. It was exhausting. What we would do is be like, okay, let's look at the next three months of our life. What are some events we already have coming up? What's just going on in our personal life? Like what's, you know, what's the deal? You know, first season was obviously, I'm the divorcee kid. Um, I wanted to date for the first time and all that stuff. So that's what we really focused on. They wanted to get the conversations of me being like, I want to date and all of those things. The reason you guys like reality TV is because you get those moments on camera. And sometimes those moments could be off of cam off of the camera. And they're like, well, no, 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 we want the audience to make sure that they see that and get that. Okay, Abigail Petones. How is your family now? Did your parents ever get back together? My family is great. Um, my oldest sister has three kids. Second oldest has one. She's pregnant with twins, about to give birth any day now. My third has one and is living in Hawaii. My mom's doing great. My dad's still traveling, preaching. My parents are not back together. Still waiting for the parent trap moment. Okay, XC Valerie, have you changed your mindset about waiting for marriage? On the show, I talked about how I wanted to wait till marriage to have sex. And that is still my point of view. I have not had sex and I am still waiting until marriage. Now I can say that I really thought about that. I thought about why I was doing that. I separated myself from, you know, what I learned um, from my parents and my sisters and all that stuff. I was like, why do I want to do it? I made the decision on my own to wait until marriage. You know, Team V, Eliza Lamp 22. Did people give you hate for doing the show? We got more hate from people closest to us and then like the super conservative Christians. They thought we were trying to make it some preacher's girls gone wild. I would stand by the fact that my family didn't portray that at all. Why didn't we do a season three? Someone asked that. We wanted it to be more um, mission focused. We were like, that's cool. But they presented us with the idea. They're like, hey, we want to get you guys. They asked for me and um, some of the other girls back then, they were going to add extras, uh, like extra preacher daughters. And they wanted to put us in a house in Mexico and um, you know, film us there just hanging out. My response was hell no. I knew that the reason they wanted us to go to Mexico was so that all of us who were, we, we were all 18 or older could drink party. I didn't know the other girls that were coming into it. For all I knew, they would they could be hiring actresses who just wanted to stir up drama. Like, I didn't know. So, me and my family said, hell no. Season two was definitely more of a stretch as far as what it portrayed. It was less what we 
envisioned. We didn't want to create drama. They brought us that idea for season three. We were like, nope, we're out. A lot of people in Hollywood think that when people get a taste of fame or a taste of money, which everyone's asking, did I make a lot? No, you barely, you don't make any money. Some people believe once someone gets a taste of money or fame, they'll do anything. That's not ever what my life's been about. I want to love people well. I want to show people Christ. I didn't give a crap about being seen by millions, so we walked away. Has my new boyfriend seen the episodes? My boyfriend uh, has not ever really had social media. When we first went on dates, this was like six months ago, he goes, so um, my sister's found you on Instagram and you, she said you kind of have a lot of followers. Why? We watched maybe 15 minutes of one episode and he was like, this is weird. We don't have to watch anymore. I was like, thank God. Valela Princessa XO. What was the biggest takeaway from your experience? I'm really grateful that we did the show. We met a lot of amazing people. It brought my family closer together in certain areas. And I, you know, have three years of my life documented. My biggest takeaway, if you find your identity in being known by people or find your identity in how much you can make, what you can say that you've done or who you've met or all of these things. If your identity is placed in that, you're not ever going to actually experience joy. I ask the Lord all the time, I'm like, remind me that my identity is in you. It's not in how many people know my name. It's not in how good of a picture I post or a caption I make or how funny I am. It's solely in the fact that I'm a daughter of Christ if that's not the foundation of how I live my life, then I crumble. And I just want my life to be a reflection of honesty, of realness, and just being raw. So that's where I'm at, and that was the biggest thing I took away from it. You just gotta hold on to your values. You gotta remember why you're doing what you're doing. So I'm gonna end on the question of the hour that I feel like is the only reason some of you are watching this entire video. Micah. <laughs> Micah, if you're seeing this, I'm so sorry you ever did that show. Mike and I started dating when I was 15, he was 16, and then it was like official when I was 16 because it wasn't allowed to be official before then. It was very real. He, you know, voluntarily was like, I'll do the show, and we showcased just what it, what it was like um, trying to date a Koloff girl. The last time we broke up, uh, I was 17. It just, it just was a high school relationship that didn't work. And that's it. Like there's there's no juicy reason. There's no, oh, he did this or I did this. Y'all leave him alone. He's married now. Let him and his wife live in peace. Stop asking him about preacher's daughters. You got any questions, come to me. <laughs> I just feel so bad for him. It wasn't staged. Mike was real. He's an amazing human being and I'm glad he's doing well. And that's it. Thank you for coming to the Preacher Daughters Tell All. You can comment, subscribe. I'm actually gonna be doing more videos like this, not necessarily Preacher's Daughters related, but I might surprise you. Just stay tuned because you might be seeing more. Bye.